Hi everyone, it's now a scooter. <clears throat> I want to show you how to make a breast molder. You'll be needing a junk of pieces. These are your pieces. You need maxing tape. This is maxing tape. You will need SD. You need pressing iron. You need a pressing iron. You will need trade for it so let's just go get started so now depending on the size of what you want you pick your pieces select them carefully pick your pieces rule the particular sets like so rule it like so see what i'm doing just rule it till you get the size of what you want see i'm ruling it just keep ruling see it's big to the size you want you can see this size is still not big enough so i'm still taking more of our pieces i'll just keep wrapping till i get the size see i'm wrapping it see i'm pulling and i'm wrapping just like this are you seeing it just keep pulling like so see till you get the particular size that you want so now you can see with me here this is the size I actually want it to be you can see so the next thing I want to do I'll come in with my thread I'll come in with my thread on it like this and I'm going to place it like so you see I'll start pulling it and pulling as I'm turning it you can see I'm pulling it I'm pulling it just keep pulling pull it pull the thread as you're doing it keep pulling and you will fill it up with the thread you can see I'm still using the thread you can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it, I'm pulling the thread so it to be stiff. We want this to be strong, you know, so it can be able to mold the breast very well. See now, we are pulling it, pull the thread, we do it all over this, like what I'm doing right now. Just keep doing it. I'll just do it till. I'm done tying almost every part of this round ball I have here. Now you can see, see. Find out what he knows. So you want me to meet with him? This is how I made it. See how fine it is. It's already stiff. See, it's hard already. So this is where the maxing tip comes in. You're going to keep this down like so. You take your maxing tip, you place on it like this, you pull, you pull while you're at it, you pull, keep pulling, keep pulling. See what I'm doing, I'm pulling it. I want to use it to close up every part. So I'm going to close every part of this press mode. So now you can see, I'm done wrapping it with a maxing tape like this. See, it's already stiff. Are you seeing it? It's already stiff. So now my iron is a bit hot. I'll come in with my SD. I'm going to wrap it again with the SD. I'm wrapping it like so. What I'm going to do to make it easy for me, I'm going to cut my SD into pieces like so. Long. You see, I'm going to cut it like so. I'll cut it like this, 
like this enough so you can see i've got more than enough so i'll come in with my molder like so and i'm going to use just one for the start or place it like so i'll just wrap it are you seeing it you're taking the part that has gum this is the part that has gum that's what you're placing this way i'll just do it like so are you seeing it so now just to keep it in place this is where the iron comes in you do it like so are you seeing what i'm doing are you seeing it so you come in with your iron like so don't make the iron too hot please so it doesn't burn it okay so this is what we're just going to do over till it gets sticked to our molder so after you're done with this you pick another one you just keep rolling roll are you seeing it the part that has the gum is what is going underneath please don't forget the part you check the part that is rough that has the gum that's where you place downwards please don't forget so i'll just go ahead and i'm going to wrap it up till i get my desire and as i'm wrapping i'm pulling it stretching it i take another one i'm using the side that has the gum as well I'm wrapping it all the way till everywhere is properly wrapped you feel it in very well please be patient while doing this you have to be patient please while you at it no wrap wrap just keep wrapping keep wrapping now you can come in with your iron and you press it in to lay properly see the way i'm doing it so this is exactly how we're going to wrap till we get the desired size that we want you can see the outcome now i want to roll it with the last one so what i'm doing i'm coming in with my water see i'm splashing the water on it so that when i want to iron it will be very easy for me to iron on it so i'm just going to sprinkle the water on it almost everywhere before i put the next one so it's already stiff i am telling you it's already stiff so i'm done putting the water i'll come in with the last one of my hair stay the part that is coming i'll place it this part is rough i'm going to cut it out so now coming with my iron i want to really smooth it out so it's neat you see it's easier now because there's water on it you see i'm pressing it so hard so that so that it goes straight in you don't see any rough edges this is just what i'm just going to do till i finish this up make sure you try to do it neat this time because you are trying to wrap it out see what i'm doing i'm really giving it a hard press and i'm pulling it as well see i'm pulling it i'm coming with the iron like so just keep doing it like this you actually need like one to one and a half yard of st for this because i like my st to come out more so almost done so sprinkle more water like so i to just need this part properly flat so now after doing this the next thing you want to do 
You want to check every other part if they're okay. And iron more hard on it. So after we are done with this, we're going to drop our iron. So after we are done ironing this, you come in with your thread again. You're going to do the same thing you did earlier. You're going to use your thread, you pull it hard. You're pulling, you're rolling. You're pulling, you're rolling. You're pulling, you're rolling. You're pulling, you're rolling. Are you seeing what I'm doing? You're pulling everywhere, you're rolling it. You just keep doing it like so. You just keep doing it. See, it's close, like every part is with the thread. You understand? So, I'll keep moving round, 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 round. I come to the side just like that. I'll just keep doing it like that, like this, like so. I'll just keep doing it like this. On and on. See, everywhere is filled, and I'll show you the finishing. So now you can see. This is it. I'm still rolling it with the thread to actually fill it up. Just rolling it over and over and over and over. Just keep rolling. Change the position. Fill it up. I want every part to be filled up. See what I'm doing? It is going to be like this one will not sag. It will last long for you. We're going to actually use it for years. So after we are done with this, like so, cut it up. Take a little piece of your SD. Just place on that part that you ended the thread. Like so, the part that's rough that has the gum, that's where you're placing on it. So, so now we come in with a ST like so. Give it a hard press, please. If you like, you can come in with your maxing tape and wrap it all. But I'm not wrapping with the maxing tape because with time, the maxing tape will start coming out. So I'm okay like this. So this part where we have the thread can still come up with your ST. The part that has the gum, go ahead. Iron it like so, so that no thread sticks out. We are done. You cut this out. You can use the SD to put on every part to seal it off so that the thread won't show. But for me, I'm okay with this the way it is. I just want to make sure my SD. We stick to it. Wow. So strong. This is just it. All there is in making your breast molder. If you have not subscribed to our channel, why not subscribe? And you press the bell so you'll be notified each time. We upload videos. Thank you.